With over 2 million people living in Las Vegas, longer commute times are becoming a reality. As part of Channel 13's Traffic Survival Guide, I took a look at carpooling in the valley. Is it still trending or is it fast becoming a thing of the past? I started carpooling about, what, six years ago? Las Vegan Dolores Jones works on the strip and commutes every day from North Las Vegas. She says with her long travel time and rising gas prices, she needed to find a solution. She put $80 worth of gas in the car. I, next Friday, I put $80 worth of gas in the car or vice versa. Dolores first met Erica while they were on the same housekeeping staff. When we were working at the Trump, we met she was going home, I was waiting for the bus. She asked me if I wanted a ride and I said sure. And that's how I started. In the morning, both take advantage of high occupancy or HOV lanes. They say it's been rewarding, improving both their travel and wallets. We can pay bills, extra bills, have extra money to do things with the kids. But is carpooling and its roadway reward, HOV lanes, no longer as popular? Justin Hopkins with the Nevada Department of Transportation said NDOT will be starting a comprehensive environmental study. It will include evaluating the usage and effectiveness of HOV lanes. Hopkins, in a statement to Channel 13, said in part, quote, the aim to evaluate the social, economic, and environmental impacts associated with the potential elimination of HOV lanes in Nevada. Critics have taken aim at the special roadways, and last year NDOT's board of directors voted unanimously to reduce their hours was allowing more access to non-carpoolers. Still, Nevada State Trooper Sean Hagstrom says carpool lanes work well during rush hours. Um, they're only going to be used from like 6 in the morning till 6 to 8 in the morning, and then from 4, um, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Dolores and Erica highly recommend carpooling. It's the reason they're now married. Try carpooling. You might find your soulmate. In Las Vegas, I'm Isabella Martin.